In this lesson we're going to talk about rounding. Now, rounding is something we all do every day, um, whether we're consciously thinking about it as mathematics or not. Uh, for example, um, suppose you buy a television for $439.97. Um, if someone comes up and asks you how much your television was, you're probably going to say something like, oh, it was about $450. Right. As you realize in the context of your conversation, um, 450 is close enough. Right? So we all round every day, and there's many other reasons to round, and some of those will be introduced to in this class. But let's talk about the rules for rounding, so we make sure that we're doing it correctly when we are doing it. Um, so as I go through this rule for rounding, what I'm going to do is, as I am going through it, we're going to look at this first example of rounding 387 to the nearest 10. Okay, So first of all this says the digit you are asked to round to is the rounding digit. The digit one place to the right is the test digit. So let's go down here and identify those two vocabulary terms here. So 8 is my rounding digit and it says one space to the right is where you'll find what we call the test digit. Now it gives us two different scenarios here. It says if the test digit is less than 5, leave the rounding digit alone and make all the digits to the right of the rounding digit 0. Number 2 says if the digit if the sorry if the test digit is 5 or greater add 1 to the rounding digit and make all the digits to the right of the rounding digit 0. So we can look here and see our test digit is 7 and so we are definitely in scenario number 2 because 7 is greater than 5. So this tells us to add 1 to the rounding digit. So instead of 8 my rounding digit is going to be 9. It says make all digits to the right of the rounding digit 0, so this is in the tens place, so we need a 0 in the ones place. And then what's unwritten here in this rule is that everything to the left is just left alone. So we would take 387 and round it up to 390. Let's take a look at this example. It says 12,329. We want to round that to the nearest 100, so there's my rounding digit. 2 is my test digit. Now we're in scenario number 1. 2 is less than 5, so this one says leave the rounding digit alone. Make everything to the right 0. That rounding digit's in the hundreds place, so that's a 0 for tens, 0 for ones. And like I said, unwritten in the rule is that you leave the stuff to the left the same. So 12,329 rounds to 12,300. Now these last two examples are kind of special cases that we'll look at that can be a little tricky. The first one here says round 149,582 to the nearest thousand. So the thousands place here, that's my rounding digit. And this, of course, is my test digit. Now, my test digit is 5, so I'm in scenario number 2. And so it says add 1 to the rounding digit. Well, if you look at our rounding digit, what happens when you add 1 to 9? Well, it becomes 10, right? Well, there's not enough room in the place value for thousands. There's not enough room for both the 1 and the 0 of 10. So what we do is we put a 0 where the 9 was, and then we're going to add 1 to the next digit over to the left. And then everything else becomes 0. And of course this makes sense that 149,582, the nearest thousand would be 1,000 more, um, then 149,000, which would be 150,000. Right. So if you ever find that you have a 9 that you need to round up, that's okay. Just make it a 0, and then add 1 to the next digit. 
okay? In the case that there was a 9 here, you would just make that a 0 and add 1 to the next one after that. So um, however many 9s you have, just keep adding 1 um, to the 1 to the left of that. Finally, we're going to round 46 to the nearest 100. So we have 4 and 6. And this is a little funny. Let me rewrite 46 here. 6 is in the 1's place, 4 is in the 10's place. This is a little bit odd. My rounding digit doesn't exist in this number. Okay, but I can see, though, the test digit is 4. So I go up to my rules here. The test digit is less than 5, so it means we're going to leave the rounding digit alone. In other words, leave the rounding digit as 0, okay, and then zero everything else out. So in the tens place we put a zero, and the ones place we put a zero. So 46 just rounds to zero when you round it to the nearest hundred.